Greetings, my sister. Greetings, how are you doing? My name is Charmaine Simpson. I'm the Chief Executive of Black Issue Studies and I'm here supporting the image of Black Women's Film Festival. It has to be done because we need more black women represented in film and I wanted to support and show my love. We saw some amazing films yes. this afternoon. Yes, we did. <laughs> and um, I want to talk about two films in particular. Well, one's The Great and Playing Warriors. Well, um, once the great, I thought it was brilliant. It was just absolutely inspiration watching the young man um, playing the part. The young, the sister, was hilarious. Um, I want her to go far. I want to see her when she gets older on film. She's very, very inspirational. Very um, <laughs> interesting in terms of her dialect as well and the way she just looked so mature as well. And you can see that she's mimicking her parents, do, um, living her life with her parents, and also. Um, just the storyline because he lost his father and he's actually watching and uh, trying to um, recreate the memory of his father and his father called him Moan to the Great and he wants to be the superhero and he's just absolutely brilliant as well. I just love the way they did the film and just the, just the way it was done, I just loved it. <laughs> Playing Warriors was very interesting because um, you had the mother wanting the daughter to get married and she wanted to have a career and then she wanted to have her own independence where her mother was like you know you need to get married now you're going to get too old and no one's going to love you or want you basically so that was quite interesting as well people respected the institution of marriage men would go to great lengths to marry the right woman they would do anything to gain their in-laws approval the family would get together to make sure the suitor was right for their daughter. And then towards the end, she learned to love herself and do what she wanted to do as well. And her young per and the young sister was very interesting because um, she wanted to play professional football, where her parents wanted her to study. And I can relate to that because I used to do athletics and other sports. And my mom used to say, "Oh, you can't do boxing. Uh, you can't do kickboxing because that's a girl. It's not for girls. You need to go and sit down and read your books, basically." But I always I tried. But at least I had my father supporting, and he was like, "No, just let her go and do what she wants to do. At least she's not killing nobody, so or or running the streets." So that was a good thing as well. So. It was very good. I enjoyed the films and I enjoy, I'm glad they put on these films and I actually came out today. Got a busy schedule but I at least I took time out of my busy schedule to come and support the film which was really good. Black History Studies is supporting this great event. I mean, you know, just tying the two, you know, Images of Black Women in Film Festival and Black History Studies. Well, we do film screen as well as doing courses, and I like to try and link the two. So, for example, I always try and find films where um, people are not necessarily going to see. So, for example, tomorrow I'm going to be screening um, 70 Remembering the Revolution about the revolution in Trinidad and Tobago in the 70s. Now, I don't know that's been. I don't think it's been screened in this country, and a lot of people don't even know there's there was a revolution or Black Power movement in Trinidad and Tobago. And most people just associate Trinidad and Tobago with carnival and that's it but there was a movement at that time even looking at images of black women in film um, we don't really get to see um, black women behind the screens filming for one two you want to get um, we get the different roles that we get to see the most time we see black women is when we're in the music videos and is that a representation of us females i would like to see the mother going to work um trying to pay her bills trying to negotiate the mortgage um the council tax the gas bill everything else um talking about um, her, her fears and worries. Um, summertime is coming, her, she has to work, but she can't mind her um, teenage son and looking at um, the problems that are on the streets as well, get, um, trying to prevent her son from getting mixed up in the gun crime and different things as well. Even though the young people might not be in that circle, but they could get caught up in it. And those type of stories we need to write about because those are the things that are affecting people as well. How are we going to pay our bills? How are we going to no negotiate at work when we're, we're at work and trying to bite the bullet when your boss is about to... Um, um, take, take you out on disciplinary. All these type of things we need to be thinking and writing stories about because these are happening to people as we speak. Bills are going up, wages are saying the same, how am I going to manage? And this is what we're going through. So doing real life films and subjects that relate to us as well. We know how it is when you go to that shop and that piece of yam is just getting expensive and expensive but we need to eat the food but the prices is going up. So we need to look at those type of films as well. My sister, enough love. Give thanks and praises.